Is it better for landlords to continue collect rent and have more passive income as rental rates are still good in today's market? Or does it make more sense for them to sell since prices are at all-time high too? Hi everyone, I'm Angela from Propedia and welcome back to the channel. One of my viewers contacted me and asked what I could suggest for his 2 bedder investment unit at Park Rivera. He bought the unit at $860,000 few years back at launch and tenanted it out since TOP. His current tenancy contract is at $2,800 to end of November this year. With the increase in rental rates, the recent transactions have increased it to an average of $4,400 per month now. As the tenancy contract is due very soon, he is in a dilemma whether to sell the unit and purchase another unit for investment or should he continue to rent and not miss out the good rental rates. Many owners will find this scenario very relevant as many of them are caught in between renting or selling especially in today's market where both resale price and rental is still at all-time high. Well, before we make any decisions, we should consider the buying and selling intentions. In this scenario, the unit is solely for investment purposes. Hence, we need to weigh out the options between selling and renting. With an increased rental of $1,600 monthly, he can enjoy an additional of $38,400 in the next two years given most of the tenancy contract is on a two years basis. Now, let us take a look at the resale performance. The latest two bidder performance in Park Rivera have transacted between 1 to 1.18 million, a profit of almost 200,000 from the initial purchase price if he chooses to sell now. Besides pricings, we have to take into consideration some other factors such as incoming supply around the project. Two projects that are nearby Park Rivera, Park Clementis and Clavon are going to TOP soon in 2024. When they obtain TOP, buyers will have more choices to compare with and with this, they may cause the unit to take more time to sell off. And with their closer proximity and MRT and amenities, he might even need to lower his selling price tag if the newer ones is asking almost the same prices. Another concern I have is the rental rates. As construction timelines are moving back to normal after COVID times, there will be less delays in collection of keys and increased supply of ready units eventually will drive the rental demand down. Hence, he may not be able to predict if he could continue to enjoy the high rental rates after the two years. Therefore, my advice for him is clear. It's better to cash out the 200k profit now than to enjoy the high rental for the next few years. And with this decision moving forward, another question popped into our mind. What's next for him? There are a vast supply of projects launched this year, and despite the high cost and interest, some projects still attracted many buyer interest in them. And with so many projects launched by developers, it is important for us to spot those safe entry projects and units to ensure a lower risk and a safer exit in the future. If you want to find out on how to spot those projects and have any questions or concerns on your current property, Feel free to connect with me first before taking any actions. And once again, I'm Angela and I hope to see you in my next video.